What does Halloween mean to you? I'm gonna let my sister take care of this. Halloween is a time for kids to dress up in spooky costumes and masks and go knock, 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 trick or treat. Thank you. Guys, guys, there's this magical pumpkin and we have to go get it to start our fundraiser. But there's only one thing wrong. What's wrong with it? There's somebody out there guarding it. There's something out there and we got to go get it. But we have to find a way to get this pumpkin to start our fundraiser. Let's go get it. All right, let's go. This is where the magical pumpkin is, right here. Well, who's gonna go get it? I vote cow. I, I say, say cow. cow. All right, let's go. Let's All go. Right. See us? Hello? Hello? Phew. Good thing we cut in just in time. He was about to get it. Rural Raggy? Rural Vernals? I'm Scooby-Doo Latimer. And I'm Shaggy Wilson. Today is October 25th. And welcome to this year's spooky episode of the CCN. We know you missed the Colonel cast, but don't worry, we're back now. On today's episode, we'll go in depth on a couple movie reviews, a new edition of Cryptid Cast and some sports, and Matt and Jen, and some important announcements. On top of all that, Shaggy Wilson and I will tell you everything you need to know, from world news to important school announcements. It's time for the Rin. <laughs> Where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need some help from you now. Come on, Scooby Doo, I see you. Pretending you got a sliver. Hello. 
Halloween this year is expected to break the record for average spending per buyer at $86.79. However, last year still holds the record for Americans celebrating at $179 million and total spending at $9.1 billion. The top five most common costumes for children were Princess, Superhero, Batman, Star Wars characters, and Witch. With the new Halloween movie out, Michael Myers costumes are gaining a lot of popularity. But we can all hope that Fortnite characters don't creep into that top five this year. Some people think it's ghoulish to spend so much on Halloween, but it actually helps the community every year. It helps kick off Black Friday since it is only a month after Halloween. 40% of shoppers begin their holiday shopping before spooky season. Welcome to our new segment called Colonel Culture. The segment is going to focus on local businesses and organizations that we feel make Henderson a great place to live, play, eat, and grow up. Usually we'll focus on a business or organization that you can focus on at any time of the year, but for this first time we wanted to highlight one that many of you are involved in and everyone should visit next year in October for a frightfully good time. That's right, we're talking about Tear on the Trail. This year many of our HEHS students put on ghoulish makeup and zombie costumes to help out. Tear on the Trail Inc. exists to help families with ill children in financial need. As the child and parents travel down their own tra trail of terror with those illnesses after a doctor tells the parent your child has cancer or a six week old baby needs a heart transplant, Terror on the Trail functions in order to help those families feel a little less terror. Still not sure what to expect? Here's some sample footage from this year's trail experience. Uh, hey, this is Jacob Latimer with the Colonel Cast, and who am I here with? I don't know. I don't Matt know Gibson. And uh, where are we today? Tear on the trail. If you had to describe tear on the trail in three words, what would they be? Scary, fun, and caring. All right, and um, today it's $20 at the gate, and who are those funds going to? We got four people. Uh, Mia Madrid, Ethan Peckinpah, Cooper McLevane, and Endo Walker. All right, so here for a good cause, and we're going to go get scared and have some fun. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Colonel Cass exclusive. You are the man. <laughs> what up? I can't see. We're here. About we're here to go in. The trail. And, uh, There's somebody with a chainsaw, and I'm not yeah. having it. We'll be good, though. Colonel Cass ain't scared of nothing. Yeah, you're right. Ain't afraid of no ghosts. We here. All right. Yo, we can't see right now. Yeah, there's no lights. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, there's someone there. Somewhere right there. Oh my god. I hope you guys realize I'm just making jokes so I don't get scared. Okay, look, I'm terrified. Jacob is I'm not, dude. I'm fine. Do the things we do for the Colonel cast. Ah! What is that? <laughs> Those are the milk jugs, no, Kirsten. There's something moving. There was nothing there. There was literally something there. Sorry we can't get, like, them. It's so dark. Show them the jugs. That's really cool. This is what we're in front of right now. All right, we're enjoying this I'm nice little... We're all, like, fearfully holding each other's hands. Yeah. In the box, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna pop out. No, nothing popped out. Oh, okay. Oh, is this open? It's not supposed to open? No. Okay. You climb through. You climb through? I got a camera, man. Get <laughs> hey, out in here! Sissy's looking for you. Go find Sissy. We're gonna go find Sissy. Yes, sir. Oh, did, you, did you come to play too? Oh, I got you. See? What up? Get on film. Dude, my phone is soaked right now. I'm gonna have to. I thought it was going I'm certainly feeling this heart of mine still beating. Sign up this call. Yo, I think my phone is like messed up. Oh, hello. These days, it's a whole flash. It's so make sure to keep an eye out next year for dates when you can visit Tear on the Trail. Next time we'll dip a chip into one of the favorite Hispanic eateries in town. Talkaholics. Moving on, Will and Hattie show us that reporting on sports is so easy even a caveman can do it. Wait, does Geico still own that trademark? 
Hello, Colonel. Name Will. Name Hati. We talk sport. We have big news. Girls soccer win 2-1. Region champions. Volleyball win 3-0. Region champions. Ooga booga! Ooga booga! Also, good job, boys soccer. Good season. Many achievement. Great team. Volleyball. Hannah Walken. Win region player of year in region two. Max Warren, boys soccer, win region player of year in region two. Congrats, both athletes. In pro football, horse team beat bird team last Thursday. Big number to little number. Also, kitty cat team beat other bird team 21-17. In college football, the UK big kitties beat the comma, comma. Big one, move on. Okay, they beat them, and Michigan Tiny Wolves and Michigan State Spartans played in a rival game, which the Tiny Wolves win 21-7. In Colonel action this week, football team play Owensboro Red Devils. Oh, oh no, no, bad, bad. 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 In last home game and senior night, the girls' soccer team and volleyball team are headed to play in state games. This has been The Sports with Cave Girl Hattie. And Ooga Booga Cave Man Will. Now we go hide from Scary Girls, Eva and Parker. Oh no, Scary oh! It's Velma Hera and Daphne Heron back with another segment of this year's Crypticast. We've got a mystery to dig into, so let's get into it. This month's episode, we will be covering the possible theory of local doppelgangers, Miss Lacey and Miss Weiser. We've gathered enough observation and testimony to firmly believe that these two may be the same person. How do we know? Let's, let's ask, ask the, the witnesses. witnesses. Sometimes, Miss Lacey will pull out random science papers when she's trying to get out her theater plans. Doesn't make any sense. She's not a science teacher. Miss Lacey. <gasps> Miss Weiser. So my biggest theory as to why Miss Lacey and Miss Weiser look so similar are that I'm fairly certain I actually plucked a hair off the top of each of their heads and they are genetic twins. So I believe that they were probably just separated at birth. They both have a strange fascination with a sea cucumber. It's all they want to talk about. I, I don't know where it stems from, but I know it creeps me out. I recently tried to go to a choir concert with Miss Weiser, but she was busy. Strange. They are. I, Claude Jeanette, promise that they are. You never see them together. I looked at Lacey one day and I said, Miss Weiser, she looked at me and she said, yes, Clyde. Coincidence? No. Proof? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, when uh, Miss Weiser showed up, and uh, then, then we hired Miss Lacey, and I'm like, uh, wait a second, I had Lacey in PLT years ago, and so I kind of know her, and I, for the first month, I thought Weiser was Lacey. So I'm, you know, but what do I know? I'm just a time traveler, so I've been here before, and I'll probably be here again later, so who knows? And one weird thing that I saw is one time I was walking down the hallway with them, 
and they turned the corner and I only saw their shadows, but I saw their shadows like morph into one being. And when I turned the corner, I just saw one person torn the corner away from me. So you tell me what's happening there. So it seems that Jinkies, we're missing a piece of our puzzle. Huh? What are we missing? Twins, maybe even triplets. Think about it. How can they possibly do everything they do while swapping places? I've done some research, and I think I found the reason why they're never in the same room. Jeepers! Dodie Clark, their missing twin sister. And they would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for us meddling kids. Next month, we will investigate the question everyone's been asking. Is Mr. Fish in the Mafia? And, and now, now over, over to, to our spooky friends, Kirsten and Drew, for a movie review. I hope you're all having a spooktacular morning. This week we are switching it up a little. We are going to review two movies you can sink your teeth into, Halloween and Venom. The movie I'm going to be reviewing is Venom. A rocket from a company called Life Foundation crashes. The rocket was carrying like four or so aliens and one of them escapes and basically like possesses people and starts causing havoc. The alien that got loose is called Riot. Life Foundation is a very evil company who uses humans for test subjects for the aliens. Because the aliens, I guess you could say, are like a liquid being and they need a host to survive. The aliens prefer live food and are affected, by negatively, are affected negatively by high pitched sounds. Carlton Drake is the owner of Life Foundation and he gets possessed by Riot and tries to destroy Earth. Eddie Brock, a reporter who gets possessed by Venom, which has to stop Riot, you know. <laughs> the humor in the movie is really clever. Venom isn't really a good guy until he like starts liking people, you know? And then Venom's like, you know, maybe I'll just save these people because, you know, why not? So, like, if you don't like this movie, like, you wild. While it doesn't capture the magic of the original, this Halloween brings much needed closure to the troubled franchise, with Curtis excellent and Michael Myers pleasingly terrifying again, says Chris Evangelista with Empire Online, who I have to agree with. In Halloween, Michael Myers, a world-renowned serial killer, strikes again better than ever. This movie will leave you hanging on the edge of your seat, jumping into your friend's shoulder and holding onto their shirt as tight as you can. Sorry, Morgan. As I'm not really a horror movie kind of person, I really enjoyed watching this thriller. I will say though, eventually it became kind of predictable and seemed to get a bit over exaggerated. I mean, you kill people. A lot of people. We get it. <laughs> Even with this minor flaw, it was still a very enjoyable and I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. Thanks for turning into this spooky movie review. And remember, stay safe this Halloween. Oh, and please, for your teacher's sake, don't be a pain in the neck. Lunch for Ray is Chris, cryptic crispitos with cheese sauce, Mexican rice, refried beans, or fiesta black beans. It's a party in your mouth. Mmm. Corn, sidekick, <laughs> fresh fruit to sink your teeth into. Tomorrow, it's a ghoulish hamburger, cheeseburger, french fries, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, pears, fresh fruit. Yum. Juniors, Balfour will be here on Wednesday, November 7th during lunches with letter jacket and class ring information. FCCLA is currently taking donations for the women's shelter. Boxes and posters are located throughout the school. We're collecting health and beauty aids, slightly used clothing, shoes, books, paper, pencils, and postage stamps. Lady Colonel softball players, Coach Troutman has left winter home workout options for you to pick up. If you are interested, please stop by student services or the athletic office during class changes. Students and staff, if you have or wish to donate any money at any time for Indo Walker, please make sure that you give that money to an adult in the building or stop by the Colonel Corner Bank. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm Genesis. Imagine this. Ghost stories in Kentucky. 
Bardstown, a town just a couple hours east of here, has a small cemetery. Though very rare, this cemetery has some above ground crypts and that are in disrespair, and the bones they contain have long since turned to dust. There are no inscriptions readable on these crypts. A large black cat haunts this cemetery, and it is very unusual. A chill wind will always begin to blow, even on the hottest summer day. It follows you with large eyes that seem to glow with an intelligent, supernatural light. If you glance away, it will disappear and reappear in another part of the cemetery without any noticeable movement, always watching. Some people say it is the ghost of a woman that has hanged for witchcraft in the early 1800s. Others say that it is the guardian of the family that are, or were, buried in the cribs. This ghost story will knock the socks off of all the other ghost stories. Waverly Hills Sanatorium Louisville Even those unfamiliar with Wa Waverly Hills, twisted past, can agree that the ominous structure creep looks creepy even from a distance. The gothic structure was built in the early 1900s as a tuberculosis hospital and later a mental hospital for geriatric center or and geriatric center. The death count here was so high that patients were delivered for burial and disposal through a tunnel system deemed the death tunnel. This was done to prevent panic among the residents, and it wasn't just the ill who lost their lives in Wa at Waverly. Liberty Hall, Frankfurt. John Brown was one of Kentucky's first senators, and in 1796, he built a family home in Frankfurt. Many people have lived and died in the home, from slaves to relatives. Whoa. Today, there are said to be three primary spirits that exist in a state of unrest. The first and most famous is Miss Margaret Varick, aka the Grey Lady. She is said to have traveled around 800 miles to attend the funeral of a family member, only to succumb a heart attack after her journey. Initially buried in the garden, rumors say her body was later moved. Now her restless spirit is said to wander the grounds, opening doors, closing doors, and always wearing gray. And to top it all off, Kentucky State Penitentiary, Eddyville. Most of us never want to see the inside of the Kentucky State Penitentiary at 266 Water Street, but the structure itself is phenomenal. It is the oldest prison in the state, built in 1886, and the architecture is not only solid, but also a work of art. The intricately designed building was made to hold prisoners, but many a spirit has also made their home there. Due to its age, no one or one can only imagine the horrific conditions, treatment and executions that took place within these walls. Modern inmates and guards alike tell tales of strange orbs, footsteps, when no one is there, voices, disembodied screams, and other hair-rising experiences. Just because a prisoner's body dies here doesn't mean the soul rests. Thank you for joining us for these chilling ghost stories. I hope you enjoyed them. Imagine, Imagine that! Thank you for tuning into this week's spooky episode of the CCN. Be sure to stay tuned after our sign off for information on how you can hit us up on Instagram, Ritter, and Ruru. As always, we'll be back next week letting you know what's going on in your world. Have a happy Halloween, County. I'm Shaggy Wilson. And I'm Ruby Roo. Let's get out of here, Scoob. <laughs> I hit my knee so I hard on the knee. desk. I hit my knee. <laughs> I was more afraid the microphone's getting torn off. Yeah. Oh, okay. I heard Jada, what did the ghost eat for dinner? I don't know. Spooketti. Wow. That was funny. It was. Why are ghosts so bad at lying? I don't know. You can see right through them. <laughs> that are, one was funny. <laughs> what are our ghost's favorite fruit? I don't know. Booberries. <laughs>
What did one owl say to the other? I don't know. Happy owl in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cleaning skeleton? I don't know. I'm not even going to tell you now. <laughs> How do you make a witch itch? <laughs> Take Ow. out the W. Oh. Uh, Not good. Let's get the hook. Yee. You're supposed to roll. Is that all of them? Uh, yeah. There was one. Oh, wait. Um, I have one off the top of my head right now. Okay. Uh, what subject is a witch's favorite? Mm -hmm. Spelling. Ha 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 ha. Okay. No. Um. <laughs>Soccer win 2 1 region champions. Volleyball wins. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I see. I see the fish line in the background. I was like, I can't talk. I was like, this. I was like, I was doing good. I was, I was, I was, I was trying to be so around. serious. I was like, this. I was like, <laughs> alright. Oh, okay. This is not funny. This is not funny. Name Will. Name Hati. We talked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Well, horse team beat bird team last Thursday. Big number to little number. Also, kitty cat team beat other bird team, 21 <laughs> <laughs> I saw him go down, I was like, no, no. It was good, we were too, we started too late. Go all the way uh, down to the bird team. Okay. Yeah. Football? All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Stop it, Will! Gosh dang it! I see the turn around. I was like, ow, ow. Let's go. Okay. All right, I'm not looking at you. I'm never looking at you again okay. in my life. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go. What do you mean? In pro football, horse team beat bird team last Thursday. <laughs> Shoot a duck and name it Petunia. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, ah, just look straight at this. I, it wasn't even on that. It's just the horse team and bird team thing. Yeah. Uh. Ah, my hair.